Welcome to part 3 and the final of the procedural hamburger. On this video we will be adding the lettuce, the tomato, and setting up a basic scene to render. We will start by adding a circle with 16 vertices. Move it into position and enter edit mode. Press F to fill. Then I and inset almost to the center. Then press X and select faces to delete that face. Press slash on your numpad to enter local view. Enter edit mode and press 2 on your keyboard to change to edge select. Control alt click one edge to select the ring of edges. Go to select menu and click on checker deselect. Move the selection up a bit. Still on edit mode press A to select everything. Then go to Edge menu and select Subdivide. Change the subdivisions to 5. Change to Shade Smooth. Control A and apply Scale. Add a subdivision modifier with two subdivisions. Make it simple. By the way I'm using Blender 2.9 for most part of the tutorial. Add a displace modifier. Press new then go to the texture tab. Change the type to clouds. Go back to the modifier and set the strength to around 0.14. Now add another subdivision. This time with just one on render and viewport. Add another displacement modifier, add a new texture and also change it to clouds. This time we will make the texture smaller. Go back to the modifier and set the strength to 0.08. We will add one more step to the subdivision. Now we don't want all the lettuce this crispy, we want it to be more crispy close to the edge, so we are going to use weight paint to use it with the displacement. Paint the border with the most weight, and start adding less and less as it gets closer to the middle. Go back to object mode and go to the last displacement modifier. Select the new vertex group. To make the material easier, 
We will leave it like this for now, later we will be chopping it to make it more real. Go to shading tab. Switch to rendered mode. Create a new material and name it. We will start with a spherical gradient. You can use the gradient texture and set it to spherical or just follow my setup. We will use the color ramp to give colors to our lettuce. As usual, you can use mine or go with your own. My lettuce will be roughly based on this image. By using a translucent shader mixed with our texture, we will let the light go through the lettuce instead of blocking it and making it black and fake. Now I will use a decimate modifier to lower the vertex count. Add another decimate to lower the count even more. Go to Object, Apply, Visual Geometry to Mesh, to apply all modifiers. I will duplicate and rotate the lettuce to fill the space for now. But again, we will be changing this later so, don't waste too much time on it now. Initially I was going to create this tomato, but the setup is quite long and since the side of the tomato is not even visible it was a waste of time. So we will be making something very simple instead. Create a cylinder, scale it and move it into place. As you can see in some places there is light where there should be shadows. There are two things that can make this better. Go to Render Properties, Ambient Occlusion, and increase the distance. Notice how this areas get darker. You can also go to each of your lights and activate contact shadows. Also if you see subsurface scattering color, spilling over other objects like in this case, You could try to tweak a bit the subsurface radius. Back to our tomato. Add a new material. As I said, this will be a super simple tomato. Apply the scale. 
Activate Shade Smooth. Add a bevel modifier with my values. Set the limit method to angle. Go to edit mode, add a loop cut in the middle with Ctrl R. Select the top and bottom faces and inset two times. Add a subdivision surface with two subdivisions. Add a displace modifier, create a new texture and go to the texture tab, change the type to clouds, go back to the modifier and adjust the strength. Just a bit to break the super perfect fake cylindrical shape. Now we will create a basic scene. Add a plane. Scale it up. Go to edit mode, select the back edge, and extrude it up to about the same distance that it has on the Y axis. Apply the scale, activate shade smooth. Now select the same edge again and press Ctrl B to bevel it, use the scroll wheel of your mouse to add more segments. By making the bevel this large, the union between the floor and the back will not be visible. Create a new material for the floor. Now before we render we will finish a few things. To make the lettuce more real, we will break it in multiple pieces. Go to edit mode, choose the lasso select tool with shift spacebar L, now start selecting parts and pressing shift D to duplicate them. Then press P and choose selection to separate it into another object. Repeat the process. Then you can duplicate, rotate and move them around to fill the space needed. If your cheese looks a bit thin you can use the solidify modifier parameters to make it look better. Lastly, if your meat is acting weird with the light, like in this case, you probably need to lower the strength of your bum. And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial series. I would love to see some of your creations. If you want you can share your render with this hashtag on Twitter so I can see them and interact with you. Thanks for watching.